Hello and welcome to Missing Images tutorial for Psych Spinner created by me Vincent using Cam Studio which is a free download and this is the first time I've used it in my first tutorial and this is brought to you by newbiewebdesign.com free web design resources for beginners so let's go ahead and get started um, a lot of beginners or newbies to Site Spinner end up on the forum asking the question what happened to my images so I'm going to try to explain what happened to them and how we get them back first of all let me make this a little bit smaller and I'm going to go ahead and close down this editor and on my desktop we have a folder called tutorial images in that I have the five images I'm using right now in my editor for this tutorial I'm going to go ahead and close that out and here I have another folder called new file we'll talk about that in a minute I'm going to go ahead and open up my editor and what I have here is one two three four five images but you know what I'm tired of working on this tutorial so I'm going to go ahead and uh, close out this editor I'm going to save my work first and then close it out now I decide that I'm going to clean up my desktop a little bit and one of the things I do is I take this file right here of the images and I put them in the new file well I'm tired of cleaning up my desktop so I'm going to go back to working on this tutorial so I'm going to go ahead and open up Site Spinner find my projects and guess what all the images are missing and these little boxes here are called placeholders now you have to understand that if you move your project an IMS file or your image files Site Spinner or Web Dwarf may not find your images the next time you open the project instead of your pictures you will see a light gray holder that says image not found just like this here this can also happen if you change the name of an image file so I want to show you first of all how to get one image back at a time uh, I'm going to go ahead and right click on this placeholder and in this menu click on edit geometry I'm going to hit this button right here I'm going to find that image which is this one right here and I'm going to go ahead and double click on that and hit OK and there you go I've got one image back now if all my images were in separate folders I would have to do that uh, for each image but let's go ahead and find out how to get all our images back I'm going to go ahead and right click on this placeholder here in the me menu hit edit geometry and this time I'm going to hit on the new direction button and in the on the new directory button I'm going to click and it doesn't matter what image I click on now I'm going to double click on this one hit OK are you sure you wish to continue yes hit OK and guess what I have all my images back that easy very simple and so that's all for my tutorial thank you for stopping by and by the way this is my son number 44 and you have a nice day